Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jim Lee, Rock Fishing, and today I'll be giving you guys an update on my kayak fishing vlog. So, my last vlog I've done about, um, geez gosh, it's such a long time ago, but it's basically in middle of summer, I purchased a Lorenz Elite TI-5, which is a new uh, fish finder that's released, well, not new anymore, but it's, it's relatively new, um, but basically you can have a side structure scan um, in this unit at a very affordable price. And so, um, I have a Hobie Outback as my kayak, my primary kayak right now. And right now I have the Elite 4 and everything works well. I love it. Uh, the transducer is it, it fit within a scuffle hole. But now that I'm upgrading to this new fish finder, it uses a new transducer that's not a standard shape. It's basically a long block um, so that I can do the side structure scanning as well as the normal um, sonar scanning, right? So. I was on a mission, I was trying to figure out what can I do, was I going to retrofit it, if there's any products out in the market where I could actually figure out how I could mount this transducer onto my kayak. So um, I actually found a product from Burley Pro um, and I purchased this product to mount my transducer and I've done the video uh, but I actually screwed up the video so I apologize which is why this video is so late. Um, I did something wrong with the audio and the video footage was not usable. But anyway, uh, I'll try to cut this whole video short instead of uh, you know showing you the product because the other video I showed the, showed the product and I actually installed it and I took it out on water. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to show you the product uh, from my computer because uh, I'm just going to walk you through the, the actual product uh, on a website. Then I'm going to show you some footage of me on the water using it um, and catching some fish. So let's go. All right, guys. So I am here on the website for Burley Pro. Um, this is an Australian company that does a lot of cool stuff for kayak fishing. Um, but let's just do, uh, what I'm here to do today, which is show you that mount that I purchased for my transducer, uh, Lorenz transducer. So let's, uh, guess this thing loading. There we go. All right, good. So, um, uh, go away. All right, here we go. So uh, as you see, they, ha they have different uh, mounts for different brands. Uh, we're going to jump to this one right here, the Total Scan Ready Transducer Mount. It suits Hobie, as everything should in uh, on this page right here. But here we go. So this guy is uh, $59. And I'm going to jump right to the photos to show you how this look like. So it's a two-piece bracket. And this bracket right here is you mount your transducer onto the uh, kayak and then this is the cover that will cover the whole transducer as a protection. So let me jump over a little bit more. So here you go. This is the transducer. If you guys remember from my other video, this is a total scan transducer uh, that will do side structure scan. And the reason why it's protruding um, out of the kayak and not hiding within the scuffle hole is because it needs to be able to shoot out sonar uh, on a side in order to pick up what it needs to pick up and read for a side structure scan. So uh, it's mounted here on this plate right here and then you have the second plate mounted over that protecting the entire transducer um, from anything that hits it from the bottom of the kayak. And since you know kayakers usually paddle in the shallow um, waters, uh, you can always hit rocks or trees or whatnot. Uh, we brave kayakers will always try to kayak over some sort of structure to get a, a better competitive advantage o over a boater. So yeah, um, you wouldn't want to damage your transducer, your expensive transducer. So this is actually a really, really cool kit. And I'm gonna go to a couple more photos for you guys, different view, um, jump a little bit more. So here we go, uh, as you see, although the plastic is covering the transducer itself. It's still reading images really accurate. There's a couple more right here. Those two are side structure scan. This is a multi-screen display. Um, and side structure scan, some down scanning, some traditional. Really, really cool stuff. So yeah, it's reading really accurate. I like it. I personally am really satisfied with it. Um, so why don't I share with you guys a couple footage from a couple trips uh, a while back after I installed this guy and um, yeah, enjoy the next couple of video clips. Hey, what's up everyone? Today is uh, August 28th, I think. Yeah, 28th. 28th. I am at Rising Sun Lake, Rising Sun Tavern in uh, Aspen Peak Wildlife Management Area. 
do some kayak fishing today. Here's my rig right here, as usual, my Hobie kayak. And uh, behind that is a white mist of uh, I don't know where the hell I'm at. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we could do out here today. Here's J Dub, check out his channel. How you doing? Doing some uh, kayak fishing today. Let's go, let's go. Check this out, guys. It's pretty much fog everywhere you go. Actually, it's not that bad. Once you start moving, um, you can see some, uh, more stuff here and there. But uh, it's not that deep right now, it's seven feet of water. Let's see what I can find. This is a buffet right here. I should get one fish out of here. Fish on. Oh, dinky crappy. That's what it is. It's probably the smallest crappie I ever caught. But they're here. Look at that. Buffet right there. Here's a good example of an isolated hump right here. You can see the map right here and there's a ton of fish on it. I just passed the beginning of it. There's some fish and I'm still going with the hump and there's still plenty of fish. So I'm going to tie up my rig and I'm going to go right to town, man. I'm going to see what I can catch right out of this hump. Set another waypoint. New waypoint. Boom. And it's pretty cool, man. I'm using this Burley Pro visor right here. So put a little bit of a... Uh, uh, shadow right there so i don't need to use maximum brightness for my screen save a little battery because uh, i'm using a small battery for my kayak and when you're on a kayak you don't want to carry like a big battery so very neat thing burly pro check them out here we go seriously a school bluegill huh. I hooked this poor guy. All right. What what do I have now? I got a bass. Yeah. Oh, it came off. Oh well. 